Hi guys and welcome again to this very one. Thanks for joining me. Yes, yeah, Senator Dino Melayi has claimed that the president, Muhammad Buhari, is working towards imposing a successor on Nigerians. Right, this very statement, I'm going to show you the, very, uh, the clip uh, by the, uh, Senator Dino Melayi very, very shortly. The president himself issued a statement which I believe warrants or uh, what uh, Dino Melayi has said. The president asked APC governors to allow him to choose his successor. So you'll be wondering, are we in democracy or are we in the era of dictatorship or something like that? Because if the president of the nation could say this very one, it means that people are not actually allowed to, are not given that democratic right to be able to elect their leaders. Because according to what that pres the president is saying, I don't think the president himself should have altered the statement ahead of the 2023 general elections. President Muhammadu Buhari has asked the APC governors and other key stakeholders to allow him to choose a successor. To choose a successor. Why would you, as a president, want to choose a successor? Why? What happened to the, uh, the process, the uh, democratic process of we electing uh, leaders, electing uh, the president of the nation? So the Senator Dino Melaye has claimed that the president is working, is working on imposing a successor on Nigeria. Listen to him. Fellow countrymen and women, I'm here to address you once again because of our nation's history. Yesterday, the president made a statement that is sacrilegious, unconstitutional, dictatorial, and showed some very inhuman tendencies. The president said um, the governors of APC is supporting to choose a successor. The president deliberately used the word successor and not flag bearer or candidate of the APC. That statement has some negative imports and the negative concomitant effect is that the president wants to impose a president on Nigerians. We are in a democracy. We will not allow imposition. We will not allow the president to handle this country as if we are under a monarchical or hereditary system of government. It is sacrilegious, it is abominable, it is undemocratic for the president to talk about a successor in an election that had not uh, been conducted. If he says they should support him to get a flag bearer, it's a different matter. So I'm calling the attention of Nigerians to be at the last, got the battle to salvage this country from this economic cancans and financial scavengers. It's a battle of no retreat, no surrender. And I want to address Mr. President. We are ready more than ever before to defend this democracy even with our blood. We will not allow imposition. We will not allow rigging. We will not allow any tendency that is anti-democratic. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. I remain Dino Melai. Right. Listen very you know, attentively to what Dino Melai have said. I believe him, he made a serious point. Because the president shouldn't have altered, shouldn't have issued that statement to say they should give him the opportunity to be able to choose is success you cannot choose people should be given should people should continue to enjoy that democratic uh, kind of uh, opportunity rights to be able to elect their i mean their president it that's that's the way it's been i don't i don't really understand <laughs> that particular statement as issued by the president i think senator deno Milaya is actually right on that very one he's been very outspoken as you all are aware though despite the fact that he lost the senatorial seat again He's been so supportive of his party where he belongs and um, you know he's been so outspoken speaking the truth you know not all the time but at least he's outspoken is there you know speaking the truth to power at all times that's really really important that you need to take uh, a serious note of now we continue on a regular basis of the fact that a lot of things has gone so wrong a lot of things have gone so bad in the country that not even an inch not even a uh, 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 not even a single item do you want to say is working now Lagos International Airport runway light collapse Lagos International Airport runway light collapse right you do not want to begin to phantom or begin to think of the essence of that runway light okay because if the light collapse 
is a, is more, is a, it's a signal that gives the pilot who is trying to land a plane whether you should land or you should not land or whether you should proceed, whether you should do this or do that. If that particular light goes off, how will the plane land? In the process where there is no, 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 where the light has collapsed, a lot of things will be disrupted that can actually cause a serious issue. You know, I mean, how can international airport light just collapse? You know, is, does, does it mean it's not being constantly serviced? Does it mean it's not being maintained? Does it mean this does not go through a proper routine checks on a regular basis? Of course, you can say no, because this is the country Nigeria where we are, where nothing works. Even the money that is supposed to be meant to carry out daily I mean, so regular maintenance will be put in a pocket <laughs> by somebody, especially if the person is a politician who is about to buy the 50 million dollar worth nomination form. You can expect a thing like that, that this particular light we are talking about do not go through any regular checks whatsoever. They approach lights on the runway of the Malta and Mohammed International Airport Lagos have reportedly collapsed. The lightning system installed on the approach end of the airport runway and consisting of a series of light bars, Trobe's light, or a combination of the two that extends outwards from the runway ends, reportedly collapsed forcing pilots to rely solely on their onboard equipment to land airplanes. So they now rely solely on their onboard equipment. They rely now on their onboard equipment to land the plane. There's a reason why there's a runway light. There's a reason why we have everything in place. Don't forget that if any mistake happens as a result of this failure of light, nobody is going to be brought to justice. Nobody is going to be made to answer questions. Nobody is going to be made, you know, to uh, to take responsibilities for what has happened. Don't forget that if the person belongs to the ruling party, nothing will happen. It means the lives, whatsoever lives that is lost into in it, goes just like that. Except if you have few international persons on board, which of course is an international plane, we definitely might have few international people on board, which might make them to want to take step to ascertain that the person or whoever the department is responsible for that is brought to justice. But the fact remains that it is a shame on a country like Nigeria who has an international airport for the light to collapse. It's a big shame. We have a lot of other African countries. I used to refer to some other African countries as small, small African countries before, but I no longer refer to them as small African countries. I call them countries, big time countries now, because they have what we do not have. All the things that don't work in our country, in this Nigeria, works in their country. So why would you refer to them as small countries? Go to Mali, Congo, you have Republic of Benin, you have all of the things that doesn't work in Nigeria, you have them working in those countries. Electricity is stable, power supply is there, good egg texture is there, good education is there, worker salary is there, pensions areas is there. But in this country that we are, which of these things that I've mentioned works? Common, I mean, just light. As little as we think it is, has a significant importance to landing the plane. So the pilot has to rely on the onboard equipment to land the, the, the airplane, which is I've not really heard of that before. I know issues can happen. That's why they say routine check on a regular basis to making sure that issues like this does not occur. In the same country we have, we have same leaders. Things like these that matters are connected directly with lives of people, they do not take it for granted. They have to make sure that they carry out routine check, routine maintenance on a regular basis to making sure that nothing goes wrong. But in the country Nigeria, how many of the routine checks do we do? Thank goodness that the airplanes do not belong to Nigeria. They belong to private organizations. They belong to international um, organizations that can carry out routine checks on their planes. I bet if Nigeria has a carrier, if Nigeria has its own plane, a lot of people will not want to board a plane because you cannot be sure that the plane has gone through routine check before flying. This, I mean, issues like these are terrible, are terrible to the years that we cannot continue to, to kind of talk about. It's a, it's, 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 a, it's a sacrilege. It's sacrilegious. It's an abomination that, a hair, that the light on the runway collapsed. 
So the pilot, what if, what if the pilot equipment on board equipment is faulty? Or alternatively, that the, that, the, that the pilot cannot rely on the onboard equipment, that he needs that runway light to land. What if in that case, what happens? It's so terrible, guys. It's so terrible. For this, I give it to the, uh, Senator Dino Melaye on what he has said. Because we don't know. The president has said this, that he should give him the opportunity to choose uh, his successor. They might one way or the other. You know, we have laws, but it doesn't work. We are rather running... How do I call it? I don't really want to give it any, any name. But then I know we have laws in this country that is not working because of the power that be. So guys, I don't know what, your, what are your takes on these ones. Whatever it is, try as much as possible to leave it in the comment section for us. We do this on a regular basis. If you're interested in continuing or joining us on this boat, try as much as possible to subscribe to the channel so that you can also supply us with your own opinion to every of the news that we bring. And on this note, I'm going to be signing out and I say thank you for watching. And I'll be seeing you the next time. Take care and bye for now.